Hi everyone, in the next few videos we're going to look into how to win the race condition in the debugger. We're going to see how we can use the debugger to confirm our mental model and make sure we don't have to worry about timing issues to win the race and actually force winning the race. For doing so we're going to have to see how we can free an enlistment in order to trigger the user to free. Okay, let's get started. So from the previous lab we know that we can hit the vulnerable code and so you know this is very very far off from the next goal which is triggering that actual vulnerability which we know is a race condition that we don't really know how to trigger yet and so our approach to exploiting race conditions has always been based on triggering it in the debugger first where you basically force the race condition to be won and that's basically what we'll do here and that's exactly how we approached it while exploiting the vulnerability in the first place before even building that course because it helps proving your theory of what the race condition is and that it is actually real and so we'll use winback to do that we know from the code analysis we did in a previous video that the race window is between the time it checks for that finalized flag on the enlistment and when it is able to lock the resource manager mutex and so basically what you can do is you can single step inside of the vulnerable function named TM Recover Resource Manager that we were previously looking at until you know you are inside of the loop. And then you can basically step until the point that the finalized flag will have been checked. And so once that code is passed, then you can patch out the code that you would normally call for the KE wait for single object function to lock the resource manager mutex. And so instead you can patch the instructions with an infinite loop and basically it will never lock the resource manager and you can do whatever you want on a different processor to try to free the enlistment and do whatever to prove that the, this is the actual race problem. And the naive way to do that is just to try to free all of the enlistments because at first you don't necessarily know from userland which enlistment you are looking at. So basically the idea is that we have the recovery thread that we are going to be working in and which is what you are just debugging in this TM recover resource manager function. And so you call the recover resource manager function from userland from that thread and it will trap to kernel and reach that vulnerable function. And it will then start looping on all of the enlistments associated with the resource manager. And so at the beginning of that loop, the resource manager object gets locked. Then the code in the loop tests whether or not the enlistment is notifiable and finalized. And because of our preparation from userland, it will be notifiable and not yet finalized. And so it won't skip that enlistment and it will continue processing that enlistment in the loop before looping again. Then the code unlocks the resource manager mutex normally because it queues a notification to the notification queue that another thread in kernel is supposed to handle. But because in the debugger we are going to patch it, it will never relock the mutex. And so we'll be giving you a special winbag helper script written in JavaScript that we wrote so that you can just type this command bang patch and it will do it for you because you might end up having to do it a bunch of times. But basically the idea is that this recovery thread which you called recover resource manager from userland is now stuck into tm recover resource manager in kernel forever and that thread will be in this blocking state so nothing else can happen until you reboot the machine or unpatch the memory basically to restore normal execution. So then the idea is that we want to free the enlistment somehow. And so we have this concept of assisting thread, which is basically just another thread on a different CPU core. And in the lab code, this assisting thread will just be waiting for you to press enter. And when you do it, it will try to commit all of the enlistments and close the handles of all the enlistments too. And so in kernel, it should free the enlistments and you will end up having this case where you now have freed the enlistments 
and the vulnerable code is still waiting in that stuck mode but there it's still holding a pointer to one of the enlistments and then basically once you are sure that the enlistment is freed and you get confirmation from the console that it has happened you can just break back inside of winbag and type the bang unpatch command which we also provide and then it will basically remove the infinite loop and put the mutex code back and when you continue execution in the debugger, the recover thread will continue executing in the vulnerable function and it will definitely trigger the use after free. You know, if, if it matches the, your assumption about the bug being real, which obviously it is for the purpose of this course. And then depending on how that memory has been reused, it may trigger an access violation or whatever. It will actually probably just depend. Some of you might end up seeing a BSOD, aka blue screen of death, if that memory has been reused and invalid data has replaced fields that are now reused in the loop. Some of you might end up seeing the code continue okay if that memory hasn't been reused yet and the old data is still there in the freed enlistment chunk and so basically what that will do is simulate this approximate idea of what we had about simulating winning the race condition and consequently triggering the use after free state on the enlistment